to a certain that says where the Google map is go that way and it goes back and forth there's other things like right here that's the recording that's happening right now another this is a foreclosure list this also works if for instance you wanted to do a foreclosure copy that which I could then go to uh, control do a new post brand new post put that in there hear that see the foreclosure list take an address there's one over here just click on that that gives me an address copy the address drop it into my address field um, now of course they got the map satellite hybrid they're using the Google technology and somebody is paying somebody to do that that's great I just assume use all these sites at one point all right, you can go in further into this foreclosure. You have a disclaimer. You have to put your name in there, which I already have before. My email address is that one. My phone number. LifeLock. <laughs> okay, I agree to this. Click I agree. Now I get, which I've read it before. Now there's the property disclosure. Now we have that information that is now set. If I wanted to really set this link, and you could, anytime you can do this kind of stuff, you can program it. But right there, you did properties, copy that, cancel, put one in here since that's my main one, put paste. Now, the thing should come right to that property every time I open up this site. I have the address. If I'm an agent, I can go in, I sign in. If you get this and you're not an agent, the MLS or a licensee, as they like to refer themselves, as you can click on that it goes in there I can't remember my name but you can go through I guess a password thing you could copy into that thing but it's a lot of work and I would know anyhow so we got the address I'm on a bigger page here that's fine I go to if you're an agent you search the address if you're not you have an agent do this for you now you can copy and paste from one direction to the other. I haven't written the code to, that would paste this in. It's called get and post. But it's possible anytime and sometimes just as fast if you're doing it to just do it by hand and drag. So we're in MLS view and it is closed. So we have all the information on this property that we know. We also know that it is. We can look at history, we can look at tax information. Well right here I got the tax ID. I want to drag that over for my next thing because I'll show you that. Right there. Tax ID. I'm not going to do anything else here with it but that's the information. Now if I wanted to email this to a buyer I would set this up like that. The way I've set my program up is so that I can um, give them as much information as possible gives me a link also opens up a window off screen here which is right here but I pull and I get rid of that one it's just the way it sets it up and you got to work with all these little quotes. now I'm loading this now that is locked in so I got a post view and I got my MLS view there and I put that that tax ID right here so now, when I do that, with my tax ID, I hit the MOA view. The tax ID, and now I haven't worked on this screen, so I might as well go back to my regular view right here. My setup here goes back to MOA. There it is, it's all filled in. It's saying who has it, who is it, where they live, how much taxes. Uh, if it had a, an exemption here, you would know it was a residence but does since it doesn't have an exemption that means they moved into it since the first of the year and never applied for one or never applied for one but more than likely it's a rental and with the foreclosure and rental then yeah that's it then you look at the taxes you can see what it is it's gone up thirty two hundred and fifty three dollars and eighty cents to thirty five hundred so that's gone up about three hundred dollars and the assessed value only went up a thousand so 
Why is that? Bonds, probably. Anyhow, so you go in and you get more proper information off the MOA. What I really need for this is the block. Put that in there. And if I didn't like right now, my title, there is nothing there. Except it says block 2. I then put in my lot, 8C, goes into that. Not quite there, 8C, but I do have a default to Anchorage. And the plat right there. Plat 71, no, 229 or and it's in there now my title ah should have been oops did i miss it i'm sorry i put in the subdivision so I, and i can cut that and i can put in my subdivision just because and i didn't cut it but i will this time now i go to my title oh gee there it is all right, so now I have the deed of trust warranty deeds from 7173. It says more documents, trustee's deed. So that was under a default before. So we go more documents, and I'm not going to do. We got another one, notice under default. Now it says determinate the termination default. So why, where it is, it says it was, it, this, could be may, this could be old news on the right here. It could not be in foreclosure anymore. So you look down farther and it says, what does it say? Canceled. So why they had it on their map in the first place, I don't know. But that's cool. That's fine. Do they have other information what they say Zillow is? That's a whole other website to dissect one of these times. So anyhow, we get the title. We get the schools. The school's not built there, and I can do all the code hit for this, but I haven't, so I just put drug in my... And you get everything that's at 2915. Put in 35 here on your street name. You don't even really have to put now because I put up the space there. That didn't make it, so you go like that. There it is, West High School. I usually just drag them over here. Though again, you can make a get and post program that would allow you to do this. I just haven't gotten that far into it. So, and you also, if you want to see who is at Romig who the principal is, who the teachers are, the staff, and um, it's a good way to keep know your teachers. The zip code again, oh, it didn't fill itself in there for whatever reason. Oh, it's, not, it's still building, sorry. I'll go to Google while the zip code may be building. Um, we have it already in there. It's gone. And if we want to look at where on the last one we were on, it left itself on. So if I go to Street View, that's it. And of course, it's in the blue. Let's move this baby up a little bit. There it is down there. I don't know why. Uh oh. So look at that. It doesn't have the Street View. So we can't see this property. It's all around, but we can there. So we're going to have to drive to it. And it's going to cost us some gas.